Hi there, welcome to the Fit Mill at home, but in the studio. I got Coach Megan with me, I'm Coach Shanae. We're bringing you a core and cardio workout today. We're following our new Power 45 format, which will be round one will be 30 seconds each move, and then the second and third round, our push and power will be 45 seconds each move. So you're in that for about seven minutes, and then we'll take a quick break. Break. I'll show you the next four moves, and we'll do that for five rounds. So it's a, a total of 45 minutes, and it will fly by, and you will feel so good. So we have one dumbbell required, and then your mats. So core and cardio, let's go ahead and get started with a light warm up. Let's all just box or shuffle here. So you're light on your toes, just kind of shuffling left to right. Good, warming up through those ankles, those calves, getting everything moving up. I got my royalty free music playing loud. <laughs> all right, in three seconds, we're gonna start that jump rope. In three, two, all right, light jump right here. So. If you have sensitive ankles and cannot jump rope, you can just do little mini calf raises, okay? Otherwise, you're right here with me. Give me that jump rope. Good, we're here for 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna go into those jumping jacks. Hold it for five, three, two. All right, overhead jumping jacks. Modification here, you're tapping, okay? Otherwise, you're right here, warming up through those shoulders and those ankles, knees, everything. Try not to pee yourself. <laughs> Too early in the game for that. We'll save those for tuck, tuck jump burpees. Give me five more, then we'll go back to jump rope. Three, two, jump rope right here. Wow, Megan, we're like in sync. I know. <laughs> I don't think we could have planned that. No. All right, five more seconds. We're gonna go back into that boxer shuffle. Three, two, one, light boxer shuffle. Good, now we're gonna take it into a nice little low march. We're gonna step forward, sweep, and tap those toes into those toy shoulders. Woo, how about those deadlifts from yesterday, hey? I feel them. Two more each side. Rachel, are you gonna join us? <laughs> All right, take it into that hip opener right here. <laughs> step forward, open those hips. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> I think she can hear us. No. So step off. up. Good, one more each side. All right, meet me in the middle. Go ahead, upper body stretches real quick. If you prefer to keep warming up, go ahead, jog in place, jumping jacks, whatever you gotta do. But our first move out of the gate is a windmill. So I wanna make sure that that shoulder is nice and warmed up before you bring it overhead with that weight. Good, bring it up and over, send it out. Huh? Who's staring at this? Let's reach up. Bend it over. They're waving at you. It's moving wrong. They're all moving, though. All right, go ahead. Shake it out. I'm going to start that clock. I'll actually, let me show you those first few moves. Okay? So grab it here, dumbbell. You're going to go window right, where you're going to hold it right out of that shoulder. Arms are going to go up. That left hand is going to graze down that thigh, and you're going to look up at that weight. Slow control, come up. So you're gonna feel it all down that right side of your body. So you'll reach, come up, and for the B, you're gonna switch sides here. And then for C, we're gonna take it into a burpee with a step up. So you'll go down, step right, step left, power plank, power plank, push up. <laughs> and then for D, we'll go into an army plank where you go up for four and down for four. So you're gonna go down, down, hold, up, up, hold. So those are your first four moves. We're gonna start that timer and we are gonna get it going. All right. You ready for this, my friends? 10 seconds grabbing that weight. If you don't have a weight, you can still do the movement and you'll still get something out of it. In three, two, and one. Let that left hand glide down that thigh, look up at that weight using that right oblique up and squeeze. So these do not have to be fast. It's slow, controlled, focusing on stacking that shoulder and that hand and really allowing that chest to stay open as you reach to that right side. Inhale as you reach down, exhale as you squeeze it up. Five more seconds, we'll switch sides. In three, two, all right, switching that weight. You like my uh, loud boxing bell? <laughs> 
Bring shit down. Usually you guys can't hear it. Now I can't lie. <laughs> now reach it down. Sometimes we go a little longer. Go ahead, reach. Now I want to make sure that your eyes are following your hand up in the sky. So reach up, look. Allow that hand to graze up that thigh. Five more seconds, we're gonna hit that first cardio. Three, two, and one. Drop that weight. We're gonna go into that burpee. So you're down, step right, step left, two power planks, and a push up. Pop up. So if you cannot jump, you're welcome to step back, step, step, plank, plank, push up. All the way up. Back down. Let's go. 10 seconds. Let's see if we can finish this one out. Oops, I'm getting crazy. <laughs> Making stuff up. I forgot my push up. All right, now, hold it down. Hold it down. You're going to go down, down. Hold, two, three, four, up, up. Hold. Now down. Try to minimize that wiggle in that booty. You want those hips to stay locked towards that floor. Down. Up. And down. Take it up. You're almost there. Five seconds. Down for the last five. Three, two, and done. So that's your first round. We're going to do it two more times, but we're going to up that timing. 45 seconds each. So if you went light on that first round, not knowing what it's going to feel like, you can go heavier for that push and power or stay right there. Jeez, I really can't cheat with the timer. Maybe I need to mute that <laughs> ding. Reach it. Good. Breathe out. Sweep it. Perfect, my friends. Good. Let that hand reach right above that right shoulder. Excellent. Try to keep that elbow locked out. Try not to let it drop and curve. Nice and straight. You're going to feel that extra 15 seconds for sure. Now check back in with that gaze. Make sure you're looking up and up. Good, you're gonna feel that right side. Almost there, last one. All right, switching sides for me. All the way down. Yeah, so we have five burpee variations today. I picked mellow ones. Yeah. They're not too crazy. If the first one's any indication of mellow, Shanae. <laughs> I have a twisted version of mellow. <laughs> Reach out. Now, I already forgot to look up at the weight, so maybe you did too. So check back in with that. Now making sure that right hand is leading you, helping keep that spine in alignment there. You have 10 more seconds. Woo! Love it, my friends. You got five. Finishing it out in three, two, and one. Take it down for that burpee. So down, step, step, jack, jack, push up. Now, if you don't want to forget the push-up, you can do it first, or just add it at the end. Let's see how many we can do. So that was two. Let's see if we can get five. Oh, I forgot the push-up. <laughs> I'll do two this time. Almost there, my friend. You have 10 seconds. Are we gonna hit it, Megan? Yep. Yeah. Now back down and hold it. All right, here you go. Take it to the elbows. Zip up those abs. Pull those elbows to the knees. Toes to those elbows. Hold it. Take it up. All right, take it down. Take it up. All right, now check in with your neck. Down. Make sure that chin isn't digging into that chest. Keep a nice neutral gaze. Up and down. Why does this feel so much longer than the last round? <laughs> Up <laughs> and down. All right, now come up and you're gonna hold that the whole time. Hold that, think about that navel. Pull it tight to that spine, holding it. And down. All right, how are we doing? We're gonna do it one more time and we're gonna finish it strong. And then we'll move on to some more core. Grab rid of that dumbbell. And let's go. Woo. Reach and squeeze. 
So we always have a practice, a push, and a power round. So on that third set, that power set, we're going for it. We're finishing stronger than that first round. We're going deeper into that move. We're picking up that heavier weight if we can, if that's an option. We're really focusing on that right oblique here. What you got, Megan? No weight. Or no weight. On my shoulder. Right. No weight. She, she's got a crunchy shoulder. She's gonna drop that weight, which is fine. You're still gonna get that stretch. Still gonna get that oblique. Finish this one right here. And switch it. Whew. All right, now, that inside of the hands facing up, the outside grazing the inside. Look up at that weight and squeeze. Good. I think we got a nice mellow first round, right? We're feeling good. Exhale, big breath in and out. Inhale as you look. Exhale as you squeeze. Feel that left side contract at the top. 15 seconds. All right, this is your home stretch, my friends. Getting ready for that last windmill in five seconds. You've got three, two, and one. All right, let's take it to the floor for those burpees. We got five last time, five again, right here. <laughs> when you do too many different burpee variations, you kind of get creative. I'm not even doing it right now. Ay, ay, ay. We'll get it together. I'm just so excited to be with another human being. I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Check your chins. Try not to look at your feet. Try to look in front of your hands. Ah, and one. All right, so down into those elbows. Hold it. Up. Now, if you need to make the feet a little wider to keep the hips from wiggling, step out a little bit. Take it down. Pull those elbows towards those toes. All right, pick it up. Take it down. Try not to let those hips come heavy. Pull those hips down. Up. All right, take it down. Back up. All right, let's finish it down right here, all the way to the buzzer. Hips down. Elbows tight. Drop it. All right, my friends. So the next round, we are moving on. One dumbbell only. You're going to do a sumo overhead reach and tuck, right and left, burpees with side planks, and then elbow Spider-Man crunches. So if you're going to have your weight, you're going to reach overhead and crunch, overhead crunch. Same for the other side, overhead crunch. Then we'll take it down for a burpee. We'll go side plank up and so on and the final one we'll come to the floor elbows and do spider-man knees so grabbing one single dumbbell so sumo wide toes you're going to reach over and tuck i already know my tens are going to go over you're going to reach and tuck so i'm going no weight but you can squeeze any way you want reach and tuck. Good. So think about what those hips are doing on that sumo. Make sure you're not coming back. Make sure you're going down and squeezing at the top. All right, switching sides. Take it down and up. So that spine should reach to the right and reach to the left on that squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Not knowing what to do with this hand, it can just come along that hip. Squeeze. Now feel that, yes, perfect. Reach. We got three. And pull, yeah, it works. <laughs> we can hold the poop. We can stack them. All right, you ready for that burpee? Let's go, C is for cardio. So we're doing that side plank. So you're gonna take it down, side plank with that hip dip. Turn it, pop it up. Yeah, get that jump, Megan. <laughs> right, you want that cardio. So we gotta get that in there. Hip dip. Good, my 
friends. Look up at that hand, making sure you get that nice stacked hips, controlling the lift and the lower. Now come to those elbows, right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. So it's not underneath the body. You want it to come at that angle so that you're hitting those obliques, okay? Now check in with your body really quick. Make sure those elbows are stacked into the shoulders and you have good form. And every time you bring the knee up, you're crunching into that side. Three, two, and now one. Whew. Good job. So round one, check. We got some, we got three poggers. So I'm just gonna double them up. See how that goes. Back into that overhead. So sumo, make those two toes wide. You're gonna reach and pull. Reach and pull. So when you get that side tuck, you wanna feel that spine squeeze into that side body, okay? Having that dumbbell, having that weighted resistance is gonna help increase that intensity if that's what you're going for. Think about that booty again. I can already feel mine sticking out. Make sure you tuck it under and squeeze. Even though it's core and cardio focused, we're still having good form with that lower half of that body. Five seconds, my friends. And let's switch to the other side. So, remember this is the 45 second round. You feel that, okay? Reach, feel that stretch, squeeze. So be intentional with that squeeze. It's easy to just disengage and not get as much out of it. So make sure that when you do it, you feel that squeeze in that left side. Don't let it go to waste. Big exhale into it. Perfect, my friends. Squeeze. I want to feel that body almost do like a small little tick tock here. Perfect. Ten more seconds. You're there in five, getting ready for that burpee already. That burpee's coming. All right, switching it there. So you have that side plank burpee. You can, I like to float on my toes and allow that twist to happen with my feet staggered. If you have a different variation that you like, maybe you need to have that knee planted, you can do that as well. Adding that hip dip, making sure you're stacked correctly before you start moving those other parts. There we go. Almost there, my friends. Here's your hip stretch. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Hold it down. Now get in a perfect plank first before you start the knees. Elbows in, pull towards the toes, stack into the shoulders. Now bring those knees. Same elbow, same knee, but you want to have that frogger leg where that knee is turned up. It can be on those elbows or those hands, whatever feels the best for you. Or take child's pose like me. <laughs> now, as we get tired, our booties get higher and higher. Drop those hips, check back in, and hit that move. You got it, my friends. Five seconds. And there it is. Woo. Good job. I got you working today. Up, down, up, down. One more time. How we doing? We're good. All right, y'all are beautiful. Sumo overhead reach with that top coming at ya. Right side again. So reach and tuck. Reach and tuck. So you can do this slow and controlled, or you can kind of pick up that pace if you have control over that reach and get a little bit more cardio out of it, just depending on what you're feeling this morning and how those shoulders are doing, right? Reach and squeeze. Reach and squeeze. Good. We're going to have tender obliques tomorrow. Good thing tomorrow's upper body. Squeeze. Less than 10. What are those cheeks doing? Not the ones on your face, the ones on your booty. I want a big squeeze at the top. Eat your pants. Eat your pants. Now, reach and pull. We're going to be so stretched out today. 
big reach here for me, my friends. You're all looking so good, finishing strong. Get into that side body unless you have a funky back and you're not feeling that. You could always just do a side leg lift if this reach over is hurting your back, okay? Almost there, my friends. You got 10 seconds. We'll go into that last side plank burpee. Give me five. Oh, perfect. And let that go, switching it there. So take it down, back, hit the plank, add that dip. Let's it. Oh, we use a TikTok now, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my knees hurt. Oh, halfway there, my friends. I know that doesn't seem like much, but in that last 20 seconds, we'll fly back. Can I just stay doing these? I don't want to do something more. It's fine. I'm joking. You can okay. I'm not joking, but not waiting. No. All right, finish this last ah. one. We're going to hold it down. All right, hold it down. Get your proper plank position first, right? Hips are down, elbows pulling, toes pulling, then begin to get that knee or that elbow. If you need to come up onto those hands, just make sure you're still stacked. We tend to start to reach and get into this really dumpy position. Stay engaged. Now, what are you doing with that breath? Every time that knee finds the elbow, Exhale. Big breath out. There it is. Perfect. Ten seconds. Last. Three, two, and one. Good job. So round two is done. There's only five rounds today. So we are halfway there. We're going to start with a standing oblique uh, leg extension. So a lot of this going on. If you want to change it into a Shoulder press we can, but we're focusing on extending that leg and squeezing through that. And we're gonna do the same thing other side. And then we're gonna take it down into a burpee tuck jump. So you'll be down, back, up, tuck. If you can't jump, just give me a, a squat with a calf raise and then we'll finish with an overhead sit up reach and form up. All right, standing up. With core and cardio, I didn't want to have you rolling all over the floor the whole time. So that leg is straight, knife edge of that foot sweeping out and in and squeezing that arm. If you want to have your weights, you can. Um, I just drop mine, I can have it. A little baby freeze, why not? Squeeze. Now the focus is all in that hip adductor and that oblique. So making sure you're not just kicking, it's a sweep and a squeeze. All right, switching sides. So. Sweet, perfect, Megan, good. Watch her behind me. She's got the good form. I'm all sloppy. <laughs> squeeze. Squeeze. Well, that was good. Yeah, exactly. If you want to make it a little bit harder, hover and just like barely come up. And that'll really, really, you'll feel it from the hip to the top of that rib cage. All right. Not all core workout has to be crunches. Three, two, all right, you ready for that burpee? Yes. <laughs> Tuck jump. Hook. Again, add that push up if you want. Or save it for the power. Again, your modification. Step, step, squat, calf raise. You do not have to jump. If you have bad knees or you're trying to be quiet and not with the house with an elephant stop, <laughs> you can just tap it, okay? All right, now. Stay on the floor, get back down, grabbing onto your dumbbells. You're gonna do an overhead reach, come up, sit up, and give me those four um, Russian twists. So make sure you don't sit all the way up. You have a hinge in those hips with that flat back and proud chest. Exhale, 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 exhale. Big reach. Ah, there we go, first round done. How are we feeling? That 30 second practice set are good, right? Now we're ready to burn it out, push power with that 45. I got my, my baby weights. Ain't no shame in my game. 
All right, so extend. Now, if you've not tried the hover before, try the hover, okay? So don't let that foot come all the way down. Keep the knife edge of that foot flexed. So nice flat heel, flat foot, reach and sweep, and pull. Woo, doing weird things again. Squeeze. I feel like I'm doing Thai bow really slow. <laughs> Nice balance challenge. If you're doing that balance challenge, do you feel it in your left cheek? Ooh, I do. <laughs> Almost there, my friends. You got 10 seconds. Hopefully you all had a safe and healthy Memorial Day yesterday. I'm guessing y'all didn't drink too much, the fact that you're here. <laughs> all right, switch it. Now up and squeeze. And squeeze, good. So again, if you're trying that balance challenge, try to center that weight into that right leg as you sweep and tuck. What is that left foot doing? Flex it, engage through that whole leg from the heel up to the top of that hip. Squeeze. Oh my lordy, 20 seconds. Right, core can be tricky. Core is so much more than just your abs. Having that strong core is gonna help it's alleviate. Your girdle. Yes. It's your girdle. It's your girdle, girls. It's everything. It's gonna help with back pain. Posture, balance, agility. <gasps> oh God, I never looked forward to burpees so much in my life. And tuck, look. I have to do sports bra. <laughs> Cap raise if you're not jumping. Good thing Menchies isn't open below us. <laughs> Finish it out. Yeah. More than halfway there. Here's your home stretch. Let's see if we can get one more here, okay? Woo. Last one. Oh, and roll it over. <laughs> you like that segue? Yeah. It works. So sit back, reach the weight overhead, stack it over the shoulder, sit up, and twist. Making sure with that twist, you're looking over that shoulder, okay? Again, don't sit up all the way, hinge back, get into that twist. Reach, use that momentum and twist. Breathe into that. The worst thing you can do for yourself is hold that breath. Huff and puff away, no one's looking. And one. Good job, my friends. Good job. So, we are almost there. One more set. Maybe I'm not even fans. <laughs> All right, coming in. Three, two, and one. Let's go. We're nowhere to be We're found. We're no one's to doing it. We're out. We're out. <laughs> Sleep and tuck. This might be my new favorite hip adductor move. That's a good one. I like it better than being on all fours with um, like the donkey kicks and the fire hydrants. It just feels nice to kind of take a break from being on the wrists. That's one thing with age I feel like has really started to bug me more than knees, more than back, the wrists, which is weird. I wasn't a gymnast. I didn't do f fancy tricks and flips. Ooh, five seconds, probably improper form when I was younger. Three, two, and squeeze it. All right, squeeze it. Oh, yes. So making sure that knee is locked out, that knife side of that foot is flexed, and you're really squeezing. I think about my heel to my hip connecting with my elbow at the top. One straight line. Nice balance, everybody. Perfect. I didn't think it'd be this leg heavy. Yeah. <laughs> But those legs are an important part of that core too. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Home stretch. We just have two more rounds of exercises. So eight total moves, and then you're on with your Tuesday. School day, I had to warm my kids yesterday. You got school tomorrow, kids. All right, burpee with that tuck. Last set, let's make it good. If you haven't tried that push-up, now's the time. Try at least one push-up on the toes. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to go all the way down. 
but I want you to try it. Good, my friend, good. I am proud of you. You are doing amazing. We call this our therapy session, right? I get extra therapy because I have Megan. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five more, finish this last burpee, finish it. All right, take it down. Let's finish those crunches with that Russian twist. So overhead, momentum up, hold it. Hit that crunch for that Russian twist. Reach, big breath. Excellent, my friends, overhead. Squeeze it. Yesterday we did legs. Today we got core, Maria upper body. Megan, what are you gonna bring, total body? Yep. Megan's bringing total body on Thursday. In for some treats, my friends. Last ten. Five. And you're done with that set. So 40 second recovery. You guys get one, we don't really. You're gonna stay on the floor with a bicycle crunch, a chair crunch, Burpee to four quick punches, and then quick feet with a 180 degree. So what that's gonna look like, bicycles you're here, chair crunch, tabletop the legs. You're gonna crunch up, drop the heels, come up and back down. And then for that burpee, you'll come up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four. The quick feet's gonna be, okay? We'll dance. You ready? Take it to the floor for those bicycles. So make sure that spine is planted from that lower back up. You want the shoulder blades lifted, and I want it to be slow to start. I want you to exaggerate the elbow to the knee across that body. Good, maybe perfect. Big breath out at the top. Inhale in. Now feel the mat lift away from the shoulders. You want those shoulders far away from that mat. That was quick. Just three nice. seconds. Take those heels, make sure those knees are over those hips. Crunch up, tap, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Now, I want your focus to be on that low back. If you can feel that tunnel creeping up, push those hips down. Maybe you don't bend as much, maybe you keep it here, but you gotta keep that low back engage and switch it. Roll it over, we got that burpee. So you're gonna jump up, four cross punches. One, two, three, four, down. We can add that push up now or later. One, like two, three, four, I know. I felt goofy. I'm gonna add that push up. One, two, three, four. Yes, get out some of the anger, some aggression. Maybe not anger, probably just frustration. I don't know, sometimes it's All right, now, quick feet with that 180. So one, two, three, four, hop, twist. One, two, three, four, hop, twist. You can go at your own pace, whatever feels good. If twisting is a no-go for you, you can just step and squat, okay? Try to keep Megan's face. So it should be a quick, like, <laughs> There you go. That was a good round. So again, we're gonna start on the floor. So get down there. I know we got knee. <laughs> this was core, core, cardio, cardio. Yeah. So coming with those bicycles. Three, two, and one. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Again, I have my feet flexed and I'm driving that foot intentionally. Squeeze, big breath out at the top. And as you come back. Good. Now we're gonna add some variation. I'm gonna have you go quick for 10. In three, two, all right, quick. Double time right here. It's just 10 seconds, and then we'll finish slow. Three, two, back to slow right here, slow. Oh, you feel that differently, don't you? That little bit of burnout takes you to that next level. All right, next one. Tabletop legs, 
tap, up, release. Crunch, feel that low back push. Shoulder blades lift. Good, my friends. Hopefully we all stay healthy and don't get sick with sore abs. It's never fun to have coughing or sneezing fits when your core is sore. You're almost there, my friends. If you have it in your neck to hold the crunch and just lift the heels, you can advance it to that. Otherwise, you can stay with me with that release. Three, two, and one. Burpee time. So you're down. Down, push up, up, cross, punch, cross, punch, down. Push up. So when you get those cross punches, stay kind of low and hit corner to corner with those punches. Man, what an infusion today. We got boxing, we got bar, we got all kinds of hit. I don't know. I'm having fun with you. You're almost here, my friends. Pop it up. Last spin, 10. Finish it. All right, stay up. It's one, two, three, four, pop. One, two, three, four, pop. No coordination required. No one's looking. No one cares. All I care about is the twist of that trunk. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the twist. <laughs> we need trampolines for that. Yeah. You didn't hear hands before. Nope, you will now. <laughs> Home stretch, my friends. Get low if you can. Make it a little bit harder. Yes. Good, my friends. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Huh. If it's any showing how hard we're working, my hair is going all over the place. Back on the floor. You ready? Five seconds. If you need a sip of water, take it. Three, two. All right, make it show. Slow bicycles. Good. We're gonna go quick. In three, two, quick, quick, quick. Five more seconds. Three, two, slow, slow. Perfect. We're gonna finish that last 10 seconds fast. In three, two, burn it out right here. Now it's not just the head, you're lifting those shoulders. Kick, twist, kick, twist. Good, straight into those heel lifts. So I'm gonna take my hands underneath my back, I'm gonna stay crunched up, and I'm just gonna lower through those heels, okay? That feels really good to my low back. If you wanna continue, follow me, or you can take my variation to kinda help assist getting that low back planted. Good. Find that connection, belly button to spine, spine to floor. Light tap of those heels. Those knees should stay locked in that 90 degrees. 10 seconds, yes you can. We got burpee punches coming up. Three, two, and one. Megan, I didn't start my watch. Oh, no. Damn it. I said something in the beginning. <laughs> Watch. I have my Apple Watch that I keep closing my rings on, and of course I missed it today, so this workout doesn't even count. No, I'm just kidding. I don't obsess that much. I'm moving up around. It'll close eventually. Good home stretch. Stay low. Quick, 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 quick. Try that push up. If you haven't already, add it in. Last one, right here, finish it. Good job. Oh, got one more. I was ready to leave you. It's like, done. If you don't wanna do the hop, 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 you can just twist and twist. I kinda went pop. It's fine. 
Makes me feel youthful. I'll take anything to feel youthful these days. Ha! Don't get half dead to me. Ha! Home stretch. Ten seconds. Mary Hawkins. Ah, and one. Now you get your break. All right, so we're gonna do star tuck crunches, hot lava, burpee with scissor jumps, and finish with an elbow big hold. That's all we've got designed for you. So, a star crunches, star crunches. All right, so you're gonna be down. You're gonna hug, extend, hug, extend. Hot lava. You're gonna drop those heels up and over. Burpee, scissor jump. And come here. Okay? And then you'll finish it with an elbow plank. You ready? Let's get down on that floor. Start crunch. So, tuck everything in. Give yourself a big hug. Lift the hips, lift the shoulders. Open out to the side. Big star. Hug. Extend. Good. You can also keep the legs straight out. If you have hip flexor issues, you don't have to come out quarter to quarter. <laughs> I think we're at half brain capacity right now. We're trying to breathe. All right, now, hot lava. So sit back, have that slight hinge, and you're gonna go up and over. So it may be, it may be little, those knees might be bent, or you can be straight out and bigger, okay? I like to kind of add a hinge back with a crunch up at the top, kind of get that full um, front of my abs. Five seconds, we're into that burpee. Three, two, out one. So burpee with a scissor jump, okay? So pop up, hit right, left, middle. Pop it down. Pop it up. Right, left, middle. I took the finisher burpee and I cut it in half. You're welcome. Wow. Girl, don't kill yourself. Don't do that. <laughs> you like that ring? And I just yeah. cut that one off? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I know, I know. Oh. Now, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, We just have this all memorized. Okay. Now check with that body. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Elbows pull towards those toes, toes pull towards those elbows, drop those hips, neutral gaze. Good, the visible line from the crown of the head down to those toes. You're almost there, my friends. Three, two, and one. Well, I should start my watch now at least yeah. and get some credit. All right, five seconds, we're back down on that ground. Give me that star crunch. And let's go. So no more surprises, okay? We just have about four, under five minutes of work left. Crunch, extend. Everything in control, everything engaged. Don't check out. I know you tend to get tired and go to your happy place and you forgot what muscle group we're working. We've got that core engaged the whole time. That hug at the top is a crunch, okay? Five seconds. All right, hot lava. Here we go, spin it up. Hinge it back. Here's your changes. You can have the knees bent. You can keep it big. You can keep it small. I keep a slight bend in my knee too because it hurts my hip flexors after a while. Where's your breath? This is a good opportunity at home to practice your uh, breathing because you don't have to worry about being embarrassed because no one's watching you. Well, I'm watching you. <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm watching you. Almost there, 10 seconds. Good, good, good. You're finishing it strong. In three, and two. And one, now burpee, scissor drops right here. <laughs> I didn't have to strengthen my legs. 
We're almost there, my friends. Now, as you get tired, that chin starts to dig into that chest. Lift up that proud chest, proud eyes. Don't look down. Go straight forward. You can sit. Home stretch, my friend. <laughs> my, my quads. Okay, what? Yeah. Anyone counting burpees? If we average five per, Megan do the math. Okay, five. Five, 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 three, six, eight, 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 Drop those hips. Pick up that chin. Breathe. Less than 10. Yes, you can. Don't you drop. Three, two. Now you can drop. Oh. 75. If our math is right, we will have done about 75 burpees by the time we're done. You might as well add 25 on and do 100. Three, two. And one, give yourself a hug. Now, it's not just the knees in. The hips have to lift and the shoulder blades have to lift. Okay, create that space between your low back and the back and your shoulder blades on that mat. There you go, my friends. Beautiful. I can't hear your breath, but I want you to breathe so loud that I could hear you if you weren't muted. <laughs> Perfect. The air conditioner is on. It doesn't feel like it. No. Just three. I know two. And one. Now, hot lava. If you want to stay in like a bicycle crunch or a reverse crunch, you can. If your body says no, thank you to these. We can always offer modifications for you. You're almost there. Here's your home wide line. It is not your home stretch. You got 25 more seconds. I was just hopeful. <laughs> Perfect. You can follow Megan as a mod. If those hip flexors are feeling tender, the goal is here to kind of focus on those lower abs. Now you're truly, truly, truly in your home stretch. Less than 10. Five seconds, my friends. Three, two, and one. Here is your last set of burpees. Let's do it. Right, left, middle. Right, left, middle. Get low. Elbow pitch. Next, up. I try to go up, up, down. You know, so if you work, I slap them on the floor. I don't know about the scissor drop. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad oh. idea. <laughs> You're almost there. Home stretch. Pick it up right here. Probably one, maybe two more burpees left. Finish this last burpee right here, okay? Let's go. Woo. All right, elbow plates. Drop it down. Make this your best one yet. Check in with that form. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Chin off that chest. Straight line. Crown of the head. Pull those toes. Pull those elbows. Belly button is fine. Takes half the time just checking your form, right? Now breathe. Connect that mind with the breath. You're almost there, my friends. You've got this. Home stretch. Don't drop. I know you want to put that knee down. Do not do it. Holding it. Breathing through it for five, three, two, and drop it. Ooh. Ah. Good job, my friends. Core and cardio. C is for cardio today. Hopefully you, you felt good and got it all done. Coach Meg bringing you more workouts this week. Follow us on YouTube, subscribe. We also update you all the time on social media, so Instagram is always a good place to find us too. 
Thank you.